Hi there, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Earlier this year, director Matt Reeves' Dawn of the Planet of the Apes earned strong reviews and did big business at the box office. It was the second film in the latest reboot of the Planet of the Apes movies, a franchise that began nearly five decades ago in 1968 with the original Planet of the Apes. And that original, the science fiction classic that launched it all, is the film we have coming up next. By now, just about all of us know the basic premise, a world where apes have evolved into creatures with human-like intelligence and speech and have risen to become the dominant species, a world where humans are hunted, living like animals in the wild. As this film begins, a group of astronauts led by Charlton Heston crash lands on a strange planet in the distant future. Soon they discover they are, in fact, on the planet of the apes. Heston was a big star in 1968, but the apes stole the show. The film won an honorary Academy Award for outstanding achievement in makeup, and behind those ape masks were some highly respected stars, including the classically trained British actor Morris Evans, Oscar winner Kim Hunter, two-time Oscar nominee James Whitmore, and screen veteran Roddy McDowell, all nearly unrecognizable, but playing complicated, nuanced ape characters. The latest Planet of the Apes reboot is excellent, producing two quality films and featuring Andy Serkis's electric performance as the principal ape, Caesar. But there's still nothing quite like the creativity and shock value of this original. From 20th Century Fox in 1968, co-written by Rod Serling, the creator of The Twilight Zone, here's Planet of the Apes. 